Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at the Indie Job Scraper from scrapingsolutions.com.au. The purpose of this software is to scrape job listings from the Indeed website. So let's take a look at the program. So the first thing we do is click on the edit search list button right at the top. And in here is where you enter a list of URLs um, from the search results and you can enter more than one. And I'll just show you if you go to the Indeed website. Uh, do a normal search for for jobs that you're looking for and then right at the address bar at the top here just uh, click in that to highlight and then press ctrl c and ctrl v to paste into this box so once you've got your url in the box press on the ok button and then i'll also mention the um, auto export feature here before we start the scraping process um, if you want to auto export um, all the uh, data into a CSV file you just simply uh, tick the box right here and it, the data will be saved in the output folder which will be created in the debug folder once you start the scrape so we're going to leave that off um, we're going to click on start now to start the scraping process and then we're just going to wait for the software to scrape the website And when you're ready to stop the scraping process, press on the stop button right at the top. And then press on OK. Okay, so as you can see, we have collected all the data from the Indeed website and it's put it into these columns and rows right here. So I'm going to go through these columns with you. We have the job title, the city, job URL, company name and company website. And if I scroll across here, we have some more information. We have the company external URL, company external domain, company URL, and email address if they have one. And we have the reference URL, the URL, and scrape date. So all that information has been collected, and we can now go ahead and export. Click on the Export To button right at the top. And then select where you want to put this file on your computer. Now I've chosen Desktop right here. Just type a file name, I'll call it data. And then here is where you can select the uh, type of file. You can choose a CSV file or an Excel file. So choose what, which one you want. I'm gonna use a CSV file and then just simply press save. Export has been completed, press okay. And then if I bring the file into view, we have our file right here. And then we can go ahead and open it like so. And if I bring the file into view here, um, so here we have all the data collected, as you can see, uh, in columns and rows, just like on the software. So you can go ahead and use that as you wish. And just a reminder, as I said before, you could have gone to the auto export button right at the top here to um, export the data into a CSV file when you start a scrape. And this data will be located in the output folder of the debug folder. Right at the top here we have the settings button and we're just going to go through some of the options here. Now this one is max threads. Now you can use multi-threads when extracting data and it will speed up the data extraction process. But as a warning, using multi-threads can block your IP quickly. Just below that we have the random request delay. Now this means how many seconds it would take to extract one record. You should use random request delays to avoid any IP block. And below that we have the random retry on failed delay. Now if the program has failed to scrape data for whatever reason, like a network issue, the program will retry after the number of seconds here. And just below that we have the reset database button. Now if you want to reset the database, um, you can clear it by pressing this button right here. Um, the program will actually automatically save all the data, so if you close it and you restart, all your data will be saved so you can resume at a later date but if you did want to clear that just press on this reset database button and you can start from scratch lastly i'll mention another feature this program has the program uses techniques like random time delays and multiple browser user agents to avoid ip bans 
Thanks for watching this video. If you have a similar requirement to extract data from Indeed, you can always buy this software from us and we can completely customize it for your needs within three to five business days. We also give free 12 months warranty on the software against any HTML changes done by Indeed that could stop the software working. But if you are too busy to run a software on your own, you can use our 100% managed data extraction services. So we just send you the data you require daily, weekly or monthly for a small fee. Get in touch with us using our website www.scrapingsolutions.com.au and click on get a quote at the top right hand corner of the website. We will then give you a quote for our managed data extraction services or to buy the software as it is with any modification you like to it. We usually reply within a couple of hours. Don't forget you can check us out on our YouTube channel. The link is on the screen now. Thank you for watching.